Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We're in Sacred Ground and we're going to do a, a little experiment here. There's an app on in the uh, App Store for an iPhone. It's called RT Pro. I'm going to click on it here and you'll see. It's just a standard uh, program here. But it has some really cool uh, features. And one of the features it has is the ability to record the amount of energy in the room at a particular frequency and it gives you a maximum and an average which the average scale is uh, real-time moving so it's, it'll give you an idea and you can kind of follow it but I want you to use this as an understanding <clears throat> of how well your room handles low frequencies. One of the nice things about this app is that it'll show us the maximum amount of energy at a particular frequency. And then we can compare that maximum amount of energy at a particular frequency with the frequencies on each side of it. And today we're going to focus mainly on the 32 to 80 cycle region because that's the region that you really need to have tight when you design and build your room. Of course, there's other issues we have to be concerned about too, but that's the big uh, situation that we have to address. And we're looking at no EQ or anything like that in the song. Now, the song we're going to play is the Chardet song, uh, In Another Time. It's number eight on the Soldier of Love uh, CD. And we're going to run through 32, 40, 63, 80, those four. And we're going to let the song play. Obviously, we can't let you hear the audio. But we're going to let the song play at 30 seconds at each frequency and then at the end, we'll, we'll talk about the numerical differences and just how the room handled the energy at those uh, four frequencies. I think if you watch the uh, real-time data, you'll, you'll get a better feel for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with 32 cycles. That's always a hard one to get right in a room. We're going to start with 32 cycles. Let it play for about 30 seconds. Notice that you know, we're going to have peaks around the 75 to 78 area. Just watch how the energy moves in the room. Look at your average. Nice, smooth. And then we go to 40 cycles. Let the same procedure repeat itself. Watch the energy move in the room, and then we're coming up with some peaks around 85. All right, now let's go to 50 cycles. Watch that for a few seconds. And then you can see at 50 cycles, we're looking at peaks around 88, 89. And then let's look at 63. And we're showing peaks around 85, 86 right in there. And then finally at 80. You can see we're running here about 86, 87, 88, somewhere in there. So you get an idea of how the room handles the energy. So at 32, 78, at 40, 85, at 50, 88, at 63, 85, at 80, 86. So you can see everything is really nicely grouped together. Now this is no EQ. This is just the treatment that we designed for this room at those frequencies. So you can see we're really close, especially in the low end, and the low end is really hard to get. So, I mean, we're within three to five dB from 32 cycles to 80 cycles in the room with no EQ. So, even with an EQ, if you had to do some EQ in the room, you've got a nice uh, room sound 
that's not adding or subtracting too much from those really core frequencies 32 40 50 63 and 80 if you can get those right in your room you're off to a really really good start of getting the rest of the issues balanced now for the next set of videos we're going to we're going to do the same thing we're going to use a little different approach for uh, the next grouping of frequencies but I think this will kind of give you an idea of how energy moves in a room through a song how much the room can handle and we're also going to look at um, some modal issues next time and how uh, an RTA uh, shows you those too but I think this will give you a, a handle about how energy moves in the room and you want especially the low frequency energy you want all the neighboring frequencies to move together within a narrow range you don't want big swings in them you want to keep everything nice and tight and moving in a nice you know symmetrical cluster if you will thank you